Fried rice is one of the most classic Chinese dishes, and probably the most widely recognized one, since almost every Chinese takeout has it on menu. It's also easy to make and incredibly tasty. However, sometimes it can be heavy and imbalanced due to excessive carbs and oil. So I'll share three simple hacks to upgrade this popular dish. Making it healthier, more balanced in nutrients, and of course, without sacrificing its taste. To start, prepare some protein you like. I'm using the most accessible protein, eggs, which is also a classic ingredient for many fried rice recipes. And then here comes the hack number one: choose a partner for the rice. Which means choosing a neutral tasting vegetable that doesn't release much water while cooking. This vegetable will act as a half green, half vegetable roll, so the dish will still taste like regular fried rice, even though a lot of vegetable has been put in. Cut the vegetable into small pieces so that it would blend in the dish better. I like using cabbage. You can use other vegetables. Such as cauliflower, bamboo shoot, or pre-cooked peas. Hack number two: use multi-grain rice. This substitution offers two benefits. First, reducing refined carbohydrates and achieving a lower GI level. Additionally, multi-grain rice is usually much easier to stir fry, as it won't become too sticky. My version includes five ingredients: regular rice, brown rice, red rice, buckwheat, and white quinoa. You can customize your own version. Hack number three: enhance the flavor and aroma with strong flavor herbs. So far, what we've added in our fried rice were all neutral flavor ingredients. They're good, but a little plain and boring. So it's time to spice it up by pungent herbs, which also provides the dish with a wider range of nutrients. While common herbs like spring onions or cilantro are good options, I'd like to introduce an unexpectedly perfect match: chives. Cooking them under high heat with oil would bring out its unique fragrance. Seasoning before adding the herb. And shortening the cooking time will help preventing the herb from releasing water. I prefer using only salt, but feel free to add some soy sauce if you feel dark fried rice is more palatable. And this super easy yet well balanced fried rice is ready. It has a better distribution of protein, vegetables, and high quality carbohydrates in one meal. And it tastes satisfying, just like classic fried rice. While some recipes entirely replace rice with cauliflower, I feel like those dishes taste more like stir-fried vegetables rather than rice dish, lacking of fulfillment and energy. So, if you kind of feel this way, try applying these three hacks into your own version of fried rice. It will not only be convenient and delicious, but also light and healthy. Lastly, here's a bonus hack: using a non-stick pot can make the cooking process much smoother and easier. Thanks for watching.